Thunder of the Deep South. WZBQ FM, Jasper, Birmingham. WZBQ AM, Tuscaloosa. Z102 FM. Anything else is just a radio station. Oh, that's very nice of you to say something. I thank you very much. I'm the king of Tuscaloosa. When I was 12, I went to my parents and said, Mom, Dad, someday I'm going to grow up to be the king of Tuscaloosa. She said, good luck, son. <laughs> Thank you. Get rid of it. Oh. <laughs> At the sound of the chimes, it was 8.25. <laughs> I threw the stand that the weather is on because I'm so tired of that canned applause. As you know, I have a producer who runs the show, and he puts the canned applause when he thinks he's appropriate, when he thinks appropriate for applause. Needless to say, he's always wrong. <laughs> See? Oh, my God, a fungus in the newsroom. Oh, no, that's the back of Bohannon's head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cloudy till tomorrow, <laughs> with a high of uh, 63 tomorrow. Uh, low tonight will be 61. <laughs> right now in Birmingham, 62, and Tuscaloosa, 62, and Jennifer at 62. <laughs> at Z102 FM, uh, Bohanna's doing an impression now of a Chinese fortune cookie. That's nice. Crank, 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 crank it out. The most music. Z102 FM. <laughs> Z102 FM, Katie J, Fleetwood Mac. And there's Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac. She wants you to tell her little lies. A bit of masochism there. How about Stevie? I just run some bamboo shoots under your fingernails. How about that make you happy? You witch. I said witch with a W. We want to play some music coming up next for Jasper, Tuscaloosa, and Birmingham, and Bessemer, and Holt, and Cottondale, and Gordo, and Hoover, and Shades Valley, and Coker, and Gillen, and Hamilton, and Centerville, and Prattville, and Columbus, and Cordova, and Pinson, and Oakman, and Aniston, and Northport, and Double Springs, and Bay, Barry, and Mary, and Dallas, and Reform, Utah, and Iowa, and Demopolis, Greensboro, Mountain, Selma, Foster, Swift, Sick, Goddamn, Fifth, Coleman, Warrior, Brooklyn, Alabaster, Palo, Bonavallo, Clara, West Block, and uh, Boy. I thought I could get through it without breathing. I was wrong. <laughs> See what I'll do. Coming up, you know what's coming up. 30 minutes of nonstop continuous hits. Why don't you do your homework? If you would, I wouldn't have to say this stuff. And at least seven of your favorites. Repeat after me. Yeah, they're your favorites. Shut up. <laughs> See what I'll do. I'll try that again next hour without breathing. I'm determined to get through that list. The list is up there to make us to make it sound like we're aware where all these cities are. We actually have no idea whatsoever. We got this out of the phone book. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Inside trade secrets. Uh, secrets? Oh, my goodness. I've been struck with Elmo Fudge disease. C-102. Oh. <laughs> it was my show. I'll do whatever the hell I want. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we play enough Boston. I don't think we play enough Pink Floyd. We don't play enough Death Row Joe. We don't even play any Mountain. Who? Mountain. Shut up. So because I love you, but more so because I love me. And it is my show. I can do what I want. Let me continue and play. Ooh, for Boston. There's a long version of Long Time. It's been a long time since good music was heard on this radio station. We're going to remedy that tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I feel so good. Oh, uh, oh, I want to take myself into a hotel room. I feel so good about myself. <laughs> Z102 FM, you know, tonight I decided to do whatever I want. Why? Because it's my show. I am the king of the city. And sometimes you can follow it. It's just so damn, oh, darn, excuse me. I'm so sorry. You know, I am a butthead. I won the butthead award last night. Everybody voted and said it was 93 to 12. They won a coyote to be a butthead. I thank you for your support. And I can guarantee you, my pledge to you is continued buttheadedness through the entire year in 1988. I won't let you down. I'll be the biggest butthead you've ever seen. And believe me, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I can do it. Why? Because I've had a lot of practice being a butthead. I appreciate your support and your votes of confidence. What we're talking about right now is this station's format, which is bugging me. You know what I'm supposed to play uh, next hour? Oh, Madonna, open your heart. Police every breath you take. We haven't heard that song enough, have we? Police every breath you take. How many times do you think we've played that song in the past four years? Probably 5,000 times. My point is, my point is, how many times have we played Pink Floyd off their brand new CD? Zero. None. Well, you know, I've played two or three cuts off the Pink Floyd CD in the past three months. You know how I did it? I sneaked the CD in here and I played it without authority and without permission. Why? Because I knew you wanted to hear it. The CD has sold four million copies. We play nothing off it. That's a good business decision, isn't it? Oh, I can tell these people are smart. We hire a consultant to tell us, hey, don't play that. It sold four million copies. Someone might like it. Keep it off the station. Pink Floyd's my favorite band. We're going to remedy the fact we don't play any Pink Floyd right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's Z102. I hope you're behind me. Uh, stand behind me because we have to change this autocratic way and this completely fascist way this radio station is run. I'm sure you agree. You're tired of hearing the same old garbage day in and day out. Let's play some. Where's that Pink Floyd? one you haven't heard in a long time. Too damn long. Welcome to the machine. Oh, this feels good. Oh, I've always liked myself before. Now I really love myself. Z-102, the all-new. I'm playing Boston, Steve. A lot of Boston is what I'm doing. I... Why? Is this on the air? Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Russell, our program director of WZBQ. Yes, Steve, we're on the air. Get me off the air now. Lighten up, Steve. It's just a bit, just a joke. Get me off the air now. No, I'm not going to get... If I take you off the air, then you'll give me a bad time. <laughs> Why don't you just tell the people since... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, uh, let's not let that ruin our party. Let's, uh, let's play some more Boston. Z102 FM. Coyote <laughs> Z-O-L-2-M-M-K-I-O-T-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E-L-L-E
ready, shake your hood. That's Boston and don't look back. Tracking in the next guy, you probably know this. Now, see what they'll do. Uh, we got somebody on the phone that is just wants to testify about how much they love what I'm doing. Where is that call? Try to get that on here. It's going to be tough. Uh, who, who, where are you calling from? Getting all confused here. Hold on. Let me get this on. You'll love it. Had an older sister. Oh, listen to this. This is a testimonial, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. Hold on. You're not on. Okay. 16 year old. I'm 16 year years old, and I've absolutely no concepts of Boston, or at least I haven't for five years. And the only reason I did then was because I had an older sister. And you love what I'm doing. Oh, of course. And you're behind me 100%. 100%. And I'm the last of the real men. Uh, definitely. And uh, who, who where are you calling from? Uh, West Boston. Well, keep listening, okay? Of course. Okay, bye. Z102 FM. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. They love me. They're behind me. We, we can't always play the same thing every night. This station is run by fascist, communist, socialistic programming fatheads. It's an all catch-22. We play a lot of garbage. We're going to try to balance the garbage from now on on my show with some good stuff. We're supposed to play a commercial, too. Let's do that. Okay, enough of that. I don't really feel like playing commercials. I'm on a roll. I'm feeling hot. I'm really worked up. I'm, I'm a little woozy. I am seeing double. I think I'm going to faint because after... Well, let's, uh... Well, what we really should do, ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, is call Steve Russell back because I really don't want him to be angry at me. He is, after all, the program director, and he did sound a little miffed and a little peeved. Sometimes they take these things so seriously. So I'm breaking the format for one hour. Big deal. We're in ratings right now, so he's hyper. Let me call him. Let's call Steve Russell's house and uh, maybe I'll apologize. Obviously, he doesn't think this is very funny. I can, I'm, I can see his point of view. He probably thinks I'm criticizing his programming and criticizing the radio station. And, and in fact, uh, maybe I am, but it's in a, a comedic way. And I really, uh, I just think we could use some more Boston and perhaps some more Mountain, too. As you know, Felix Papillardi is... Uh, was shot to death, and as a tribute to him, you should occasionally hear a mounted record. I believe he died with his guitar. Felix Papillardi did. Let's call Steve Russell's house and tell him that uh, no harm was meant. It's just, just doing a comedic bit for entertainment purposes, of course. Well, sorry. Your call did not go through. Oh. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't watching what I was dialing. Let's try that again. Either that or he's so mad he's uh, torn the phone out of his wall. <laughs> yeah. We'll just call Steve and make sure that, this is, that he's not angry with me. Hello? Hello, who's this? It's Janice. Janice, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely wife of Mr. Steve Russell, Janice. Hello, Janice, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're still having a sexual problem. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let me speak to Steve, please. He's not here. Where is he? He's on his way to the station. He's coming here? Yes, he is. Oh, okay, well, I, I'll talk to him when he gets here then, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, nice talking to with you. Bye. Bye, Janice. Okay. Oh, we want to play here. <clears throat> Let's play some mountain. He should enjoy this driving in. I think Steve will enjoy some mountain. You know, we don't play this either. Here's some mountain, Steve. C-102 FM, Felix Papillardi, Leslie Weston Mountain. We don't play any mountain. Can you believe that? As big as that band was, a lot of followers, and Felix Papillardi, a fine, upstanding gentleman that I knew personally. And uh, I believe it was shot to death at a topless nightclub. But we should play some mountain, because that Mississippi Queen was a number one record in 1970. Do we play it? No, we don't. You know all the records we don't play? You know by Led Zeppelin? You know we play by Led Zeppelin? Stairway to Heaven. That's it. That is all we play by Led Zeppelin. You know what we play by R.E.M.? One song, the one I love. They have seven albums out. We play one song. And you know why this happens? It's really not Steve Russell's fault. I know he's driving to the station, probably listening to me. I hope you are uh, listening to what I'm saying right now. Then listen closely, Steve. I don't hold you responsible for this. I know you're just a victim of this machinery, which we call radio. We're all victimized by this monster. We have a, ladies and gentlemen, we have a consultant in Virginia 
that we pay big money. I need more money than anybody here at the station makes to send us music lists on what we should play. He tells us what to play and dictates to you what you're going to hear. And he's in Virginia. Here's the music sheet right here. Look what we got. We got Madonna, Prince, Huey Lewis, Styx. Oh, oh boy. How adventurous. How adventurous. But Steve is on his way to the station. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the microphone on. Because when Steve gets here, I want him to state his position. I want him man to man to sit down in the chair and tell everybody why we listen to this Jeffrey's boob. And, and why we, we follow these music sheets and have no leeway what to do. I'll tell you something. i got to follow this music sheet. But if the ratings come back and, and my ratings, my book is bad, you know who's going to get fired? No, not Mr. Jeffries. Not Mr. Russell. Mr. Calhoun will be fired. So I should have some input into my show. And you should have some input. You want to hear something, I should be able to play it. So when Steve gets here, we'll leave the mic on. And when he gets here, we'll ask him, well, why are we putting up with this? We know what to do. We've been on radio 10 to 15 years. We don't need management to tell us what to do, ladies and gentlemen. He, Shut he, the mic off. Ladies and gentlemen, the program director of WZBQ and my friend, Steve Russell. Hello, Steve. Shut the mic off. Back off. We're making it worse. Shut the mic off. The mic stays on. Cut the mic off or you're gone. I, I, I cannot believe that, you, that this is a big damn deal. Cut the mic off now. Mic stays on. I'm sorry. Cut the mic off. If you come close to the mic, I... I Back off, Russell. Cut the mic off. Let's go on me, you cut the mic off. Mic stays on. Mic is on. Get it off now. Mic is on. Your mic is on. Well, I'll kill you. Uh, uh, oh, shut up. Oh, God. Shut up. Are you all right? Uh, shut up. Uh, cut the mic off. Now. Shut. No, the mic stays on. Cut the mic off now. You can't. Get away from me. Don't touch me. Just open me. Back off it. You're gone. 